the science of gut health, and why it matters. Hello everyone. Did you know your gut is the foundation of your health? It's where food is broken down and nutrients are absorbed. But it's also home to a complex ecosystem of bacteria that play a vital role in your immune system, mood, and even weight. When your gut health is out of balance, it can lead to a variety of problems, from digestive issues to chronic diseases. It's responsible for digesting food, absorbing nutrients, and fighting off infection. But it's also responsible for your mood, energy levels, and even your weight. But the good news is that there are things you can do to improve your gut health. A healthy gut microbiome is characterized by a diverse population of bacteria, with a balance between good and bad bacteria. When this balance is disrupted, it can lead to gut dysbiosis, which is associated with a number of health problems, such as diarrhea, constipation, and bloating, which can all be caused by diet. A diet that is low in fiber or high in processed foods can contribute to digestive problems. Fiber helps to keep your digestive system healthy by adding bulk to your stool and helping it move through your intestines more easily. Processed foods, on the other hand, are often low in fiber and high in unhealthy fats and sugar, which can irritate your digestive tract. Stress. Stress can cause the muscles in your digestive tract to contract more forcefully, which can lead to diarrhea or constipation. When you are stressed, your body releases hormones that can affect the way your digestive system works. This can lead to symptoms such as stomach ache, nausea, and diarrhea. Medications. Some medications, such as antibiotics, can disrupt the balance of bacteria in your gut, leading to digestive problems. Antibiotics kill both good and bad bacteria, which can lead to an overgrowth of bad bacteria in your gut. This can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, bloating, and gas. Infection. Infections, such as food poisoning or gastroenteritis, can also cause digestive problems. Food poisoning is caused by eating food that is contaminated with bacteria, viruses, or parasites. Gastroenteritis is an inflammation of the stomach and intestines that is often caused by a virus. Both food poisoning and gastroenteritis can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and abdominal cramps. Irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. IBS is a chronic condition which affects the large intestine. Some of the symptoms are diarrhea, constipation, bloating, and gas. The exact cause of IBS is not known, but it is thought to be caused by a combination of factors, including genetics, diet, stress, and the environment. Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel disease that can affect any part of the digestive tract. It is characterized by symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, and weight loss. The exact cause of Crohn's disease is unknown, but it is thought to be caused by a combination of factors, including genetics, diet, and the environment. To achieve improved gut health, here are some of the most important points to follow. Eat a healthy diet. A healthy diet for gut health includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods are high in fiber, which is essential for gut health. Fiber helps to keep your digestive system healthy by adding bulk to your stool and helping it move through your intestines more easily. Other good sources of fiber include legumes, nuts, and seeds. Taking probiotics. Probiotics are live bacteria that are similar to the good bacteria that naturally live in your gut. Taking probiotics can help to improve the balance of bacteria in your gut and promote gut health. Probiotics can be found in fermented foods, such as sauerkraut, yogurt, and kefir, or in supplement form. Reducing your stress levels. Stress can have a negative impact on gut health. When you are stressed, your body releases hormones that can affect the way your digestive system works. This can lead to symptoms such as stomach ache, nausea, and diarrhea. There are many ways to reduce stress, such as exercise, yoga, meditation, and spending time in nature. Getting enough sleep. Sleep is essential for gut health. When you don't get enough sleep, your body produces more of the stress hormone cortisol, which can damage the lining of your gut. Aim for 7-8 hours of sleep per night. Check out our comprehensive guide on how to get quality sleep in the link above. Exercise regularly. Exercise helps to keep your digestive system healthy by stimulating the movement of food through your intestines. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise on most days of the week. Avoid alcohol and smoking. 
alcohol and smoking can damage the lining of your gut and disrupt the balance of bacteria in your gut. If you do drink alcohol, do so in moderation. And if you smoke, quitting is the best thing you can do for your overall health, including your gut health. Managing chronic diseases. If you have any chronic diseases, such as diabetes or obesity, managing them well can help to improve your gut health. Talk to your doctor about how to manage your condition. Fermented foods. Fermented foods, such as sauerkraut, yogurt and kefir, contain probiotics, which are good bacteria that can help to improve gut health. Probiotics can also be found in supplement form. Prebiotics. Prebiotics are non-digestible food fibers that feed the good bacteria in your gut. Good sources of prebiotics include onions, garlic, asparagus, and bananas. There are also over-the-counter supplements that work well. Drink plenty of fluids. Staying hydrated is important for overall health, including gut health. Aim to drink 8 glasses of water per day. If you are exercising, the amount of water you need to drink depends on a number of factors, including your weight the intensity and duration of your workout, and the climate you are in. However, as a general rule of thumb, you should aim to drink about 16 ounces of water for every 20 minutes of moderate intensity exercise. You'll know and feel when your gut is healthy. Here are some of the signs of a healthy gut. Regular and pain-free bowel movements. Consistent energy levels. Normal amount of gas and bloating. Healthy bowel transit time, the amount of time it takes food to move through your digestive tract. Mental clarity. Healthy reactions to stress. No adverse reactions to food. To sum up, poor gut health can affect our entire body. The gut is home to trillions of bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms, which together make up the gut microbiota. These microorganisms play an important role in many aspects of health, including digestion, nutrient absorption, immunity, and mood. When your gut health is as it should be, you will feel happier and healthier. If you are concerned about your gut health, talk to your doctor. They can help you assess your risk factors and develop a plan to improve your gut health. I hope you have found value in this video and consider subscribing to catch our new videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you good health now and into the future.